Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Coinex and in today's video, I will be demonstrating to you guys the step-by-step -step method I used in creating this realistic brass instrument. Amazing, right? Yes, it's actually easy to create your own instruments. And the beautiful thing is you can do it without paying a single thing. All you need to do is to make sure you have this plugin right here called Vital. And this is an information or a lesson I got from Eric Bowman. Now, to create your own instrument using this plugin, it is easy if only you pay attention and probably follow along. You may ask, what are you to gain from this? The truth is you're gonna gain a whole lot from this. First, you will learn how to sound design. And secondly, you'll be able to create your own VST plugins, either for personal use or for sales. And to be very honest with you guys, when it comes to sound design, I'm still a beginner, but I'm only just trying to share this little knowledge with you guys as we grow together. So less of talking and more of actions. With that being said, guys, let's dive right into the demonstration. Inside Vital, the first thing you need to do is to go here and initialize presets. Once that is done, go over to this Swift table and click on the editor, which is this pencil icon. It will bring you to this section. Inside here, all you need to do is to eliminate all these harmonics, these lines over here. Eliminate them, leaving this one. So how do you do that? Right click on that one and click on clear right. Once that is done, the next thing you need to do is to boost this amplitude to create a perfect sine wave as you can see once that is done come over to this section and click on add modifier and head down to wave warp once that is activated another channel came up here so we'll be choosing this second one just head down to the extreme here right click on it and create keyframe now this section pops up all you need to do is to drag it all the way up and once that is done we are done here so we'll close it the next thing we'll do is to drag the macros one over to this section right here and leave it once we've achieved that let's quickly rename this by clicking this we'll call it t-i-m-b-r-e timber right enter then we head to this attack delay section we'll boost this attack time to this extent all right and then we we'll change the shape to create a more smoother transition then once that is done we we'll just come back here and double click and set it back to default then after that we'll come to macros to drag it to the attack and on this section right here right click and enter this value 0 0.39 enter and on this one right here we'll enter another value 0 0.5 and I also want to let you guys know that these numbers we are keying in is not a fixed number. You know, you are free to adjust them to your taste. But the important thing is that these numbers are a good starting point. So I would advise to experiment with this because I believe the more you practice, the more you get used to it. So let's now listen to what we have so far. Okay, so we are going to drag this envelope one over to this wave table. And now let's listen to what we've achieved. So as you can hear, the brass sound is there, but it sounds a little bit too much. So to control that, we come to this knob here, right click and type in this value. 90 and once that is done i need to adjust this timber to make it sound more like a brass so all i need to do is to right click and enter this number 0 0.43 and when we preview it you can see the difference this is before and with the adjustments once we are done with that it takes us to activating the filter and this is where you can activate the filter now we'll be setting up the filter one first let's set this resonance to 10 and uh, this cutoff we take it all the way down to control the highs then we'll drag this macros 3 to control it just drag it to this position and on the macro 3 right click and enter this value 0 0.4916 enter and guys please i'm not really the best when it comes to sound designing you know i'm still gradually advancing my knowledge 
in sound designing. So what I'm basically showing you is exactly the way I learned it from the guy I talked about. So uh, the end point is to understand the steps to create a realistic sounding brass instrument. So guys, after setting this up, the next thing we will do under these macros is to rename it to low pass cutoff. And let's have a quick listen. It sounds okay, but we can enhance it more by giving it that bright brass color. So all we need to do is to drag envelope one to the cutoff here. As you can see, there is a movement here and it is more bright. It sounds brighter now. We are not going to adjust this modulation from here. So set this to zero. In this case, now we'll just drag this macro 4 over to envelope 1. And on this modulation, we'll right click and key in 48. And on the level here, we key in 0 0.5. Now, let's have a listen. As you can see, the cutoff is moving 24 semitones of every note I play because of this modulation that was set here. Then after that, we can now rename it as Plug. Now, the next step we'll be taking is to make the brass instrument we've created to sound more realistic. So let me quickly demonstrate how that is done. The first thing you need to do is to head down to the LFO one and under this triangle, change it to saw up and come over to this section here, increase this to two. That's the grid and bring this all the way to the center. Once that is done, we'll drag this LFO to this pitch. Okay. But while doing it, we need to hold down shift to make it work. So let me quickly do that done let's hear what we have so you can see it has this slide kind of effect on it we need to make it a little bit faster the next thing we need to do is to come over here to the trigger switch it to envelope and go to this frequency and set it to second and right click and enter the value 0 0.2 second so let's quickly hear that So once that is done, and the next thing we can do to really enhance that realistic feel is to come to this line here, you know, and drag it up like this so that it will have this smooth transition. When you listen to someone playing a live brass instrument, one thing you notice is the timber is not consistent both on the low register up to the high register. So we need to emulate that into the brass instrument we are creating. All we need to do is to drag this note here up to this timber knob. And we also want to achieve where the higher notes will have a lower timber and the lower notes will have a higher timber. So all we need to do is to come over to this modulation, right click and key in a negative value. So I'll be putting in minus 0.36. If you pay very close attention here, you see whenever I play a higher note, this timbre comes down. I don't know if it is feasible enough. And when I play a lower note, it goes up. All right, let's head down to the metrics. And under the metrics, I will be shaping the brass instrument more so that everything that will be played from this region downwards will have the same timbral. Then from that point, from this point right here, as you can see on the piano, I am pointing upwards will have a different timbre so that when you play lower octaves, they will remain the same but when you're now climbing towards the higher octave it will the timbre will change you know it will start going higher and also affect the color of the uh, color of the brass instrument so let's quickly set that but before there we go and then we we'll count one two three four at the fourth point make 
you double click to create a node and drag everything down from this point downwards anything you play on the piano within this region will maintain the same timber it's not gonna change or sound pitchy or you know but anything from that point upwards will also will now have uh different team uh will have different timber then once that is done we also need to smoothen this but before then we need to set this to six and then increase this just a little bit like this nice so the main purpose of this is to enhance the realistic feel of this uh brass instrument the more and once we are done here let's just quickly preview before we close out from this section all right let's add one more modulation with the timber we'll drag it to the resonance of this filter uh all of this together is working towards bringing out that realistic feel for the instrument, the brass instrument we are creating. So let's have a quick listen. Okay. The next thing we're going to do right now is to head down to metrics. Now on the metrics, please make sure that you are on macro one and filter one resonance and come to this point, bring it down to five and take this one to the third line, one, two, three, and then raise this to somewhere like this. And the reason is this, when you now play the sound, higher notes will have a lower resonance and lower notes will have a higher resonance so that takes us to added effects so over to effects we'll head down to reverb and on the reverb we'll do a little bit of setup to get that texture we want on the time here we'll enter this value 1.75 seconds then on the size we'll make it 60 then head down to the mix it's not gonna be that much just add 35 uh, and as you can see let's preview all right as you can see the reverb is there and finally before we we'll conclude if you now want to emulate different types of other brass instruments like french horn trumpets or any other one all you need to do is to change this knob here with this uh the timber with the frequency for example when you drag this up let me copy this first all right so when you drag this down and play you can see the tone is changing right so that is to show you that if you want to achieve different types of uh, brass instruments it is still possible with this setup you have already all you need to change is the timber and the frequency here by increasing it or reducing it depending on what you the texture you want to achieve so guys that will be it for today's video and i'll be leaving the presets if you want it you can just head down to the link and download it so leave a like leave your comment and please remember i'm not really the best in this i'm only just trying to share this knowledge with you guys so that we'll grow together and in the next video i'll be showing you how you can use these same techniques to create other instruments apart from brass instruments so guys stay creative and see you guys in the next one Bye bye <laughs>